Happy holidays, everyone. This is Juanita coming back to you with another quick video. We're making a delicious holiday drink. Some people know it as sorrel. Some people uh, actually call it just hibiscus tea. It's Jamaican sorrel. I'll let you see the package and get closer. I hijacked one of my old students. He's joining me today. He came to say hello. His name is Kayshawn. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Kayshawn used to be one of my eighth grade students. That was many years ago. Uh, I'm so, now, I'm so old. <laughs> are you old? <laughs> no, you're not old because that means I would have to be old. So, <laughs> Kayshawn is now what a junior? Yeah, junior in college. Junior and what's the name of the university? University of South oh, Alabama. Oh, oh. Now. Yeah, doing big things. Yes, yes. Uh, what are you studying, Keishon? Meteorology. All right. <laughs> you know, with that big smile, he has to be on television doing uh, the meteor. What, what do you call it? The broadcasting for what? How do you say no, that? Broadcast meteorology. I broadcast meteorologists. Okay. Yeah. That's what he wants to do. That's what he shall be. <laughs> I know at, at one time he was uh, leadership of president for what club? What was it the called? The meteorology club. He was the president. But this young man actually will not slow down for a second to enjoy his college life. So I'll have to stay on him about that. But today, <laughs> while I have him held hostage, I'm going to teach him how to make a nice healthy drink. No Kool-Aid, no soda. So it is what it is. let's get busy. <laughs> All right. So this. what did I start you off with, with the with the fruit, what are you doing here? I was juicing the lemons and the orange stuff. Yep. Yeah. That's what you were doing. All right, awesome. I have some wonderful juice. Look at that. See, juice, natural fresh juice. Now we're gonna move on to the ginger. Have you ever chopped the ginger before? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I'm gonna teach you how to do that today. So go ahead and take that. You can break a little piece off That's to the smart. end. Okay. Break a little piece off, okay. and I'll give you a knife, and you're gonna peel it like you're peeling a little potato. Just gonna cut that brown skin off. You put me on the spot. It's okay. <laughs> Just cut like this right here. No, no, no. Okay, okay. Real thin, little thin slices. Let me show you. Okay. Boy. <laughs> I might. So, I real close, showing you how you're just peeling. Real thin, like an onion layer. The thin slices. You could also use a potato peeler if the knife is too difficult for you. So you just oh, keep okay. peeling that off. Okay, gotcha. Okay. While Keishon is doing that, I'll direct your attention to something else. This is the sorrel that we actually made earlier. So this is what it'll look like when it's complete. But I'm going to show you some quick and simple ways to make it if you have a regular teapot. So I started out with my kettle, I put some, I have an electric kettle, I put some cold water in here, you want to start out with cold water when you're making your tea, let it boil, if you have a good teapot you have uh, a basket when you're letting your herbs steep, you need to let your, your herbs from the tea steep at least about 10 minutes to get all of the potency the strength from the herbs, okay? All right. Now, what I would do in this situation for a normal teapot like this, I'll take about a tablespoon of the actual tea, which are the dried leaves, and I'm going to just let them steep in the pot. And I'll sit that to the side for 10 minutes. All right, this is okay. That's looking good. Okay. So, so yeah. all you're going to do, and I should have given you a, a cutting board too. <laughs> you're going to make sure when that's cut up, you can cut it into slices. And it doesn't have to be thin slices. Mm -hmm. It can be like an inch thick. Okay. Right. Okay? Yeah. I'm also going to show you a different method if you have, if you do not have a regular teapot. I bought this little diffuser 
from Tivana, but you can find them most any places. Just a little container where you drop the actual tea leaves down in here. And Keishon said he actually wanted to use one of the herbs that I got from Truly Living Well. These are fresh herbs that they grow locally in their garden and they package them. And you can take them home and use them to make your fresh tea. So which one did you say you like? The apple mint. The apple mint. So I'll let you put this one in the diffuser. Okay. Where did I do the diffuser? There it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you just, let me give you a little teaspoon here. I had one there. I know what I did. With it. When I cooked earlier, I moved it over here with all the spices. Because I'm always dumping stuff in and never measuring. <laughs> you can use a teaspoon to just put so probably about two. Two? Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. okay. Just seal that up. You want to keep your herbs sealed tightly so they can keep the flavor. Smells good. Yes. And this is a mint tea that he selected. So mint tea is really good if you have any type of congestion, feeling like you have a cold, sinus issues. And all you gotta do, like I showed you guys, I use my regular coffee pot to make my tea when I'm um, in a hurry. So you just drop it in that hot water that I let come out of the coffee pot and you let that steep for about 10 minutes. That's my son Logan down there having a good time with his new car or truck. <laughs> now I have some tea that I made earlier, so I'm going to let Keishon use this as a base so that we can demonstrate how to make this tea. So, Keishon. Oh, Logan. Oh, there you go. So you can put in your ginger. You guys just put it in here. Yep. And you can add your juice. Okay. Actually, just pour it out right here. Yeah, you can pour it right there. Okay. And this juice has a great deal of vitamin C. Vitamin C is great for healing the body. If you have any type of colds, if you have any type of infection in the body, that vitamin C is going to work very well in your body to get you back, get your immune system boosted back up. Okay, now we need to sweeten it. The best thing to, do, to use when you're making like a mint tea is raw honey. So if you can find in your store, which I found this from like just a regular grocery store here, you can find it in, uh, I'm not sure if you can find the raw honey. It may be difficult to find it in a Walmart, but look online like Amazon, other online websites, your local farmers market, some of, sometimes they have raw honey as well. Okay, we're just going to put all of that in there. Oh, okay. You yeah, don't have much left. We probably need to pour the actual tea in there, <laughs> swish it around. Okay. Okay. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> also use a little sprinkle of cinnamon. If you have some cinnamon sticks, you can drop down in there, which are great. You can smell how great these are. The cinnamon sticks, when you break them, it just releases the potency of it. You can smell. Yeah, actually, that's okay. Oh, cool. yeah, of course, of course, it does smell. Okay, it's like, good. let me ask before I start dropping some cinnamon. Yeah, you okay? <laughs> Just swish it around. Okay, just switch it. Okay, okay. So uh, that way. Take, take, take this top off. Yeah. Okay. So that way we get all the honey out of there. You may have to. No, no. Go. Pour some of your tea in there. Shake it up. Got gotcha. you. Okay. Alrighty. So that's basically it. We're done. We made two different healthy types of drinks. We made like a mint ginger cinnamon tea and we made a hibiscus tea we already added the ginger and the cinnamon to the hibiscus tea when it's fermented when you allow it to sit out and the flavors come together 
then you, it can qualify to be called sorrel. So I hope you're brave enough to try it. If you do not have agave or the raw honey, feel free to use any other natural sweetener that you may have. As long as you're not using anything that's a chemical with aspartame in it that are uh, carcinogen, well, that may be considered like a carcinogen. Um, sweet and low, what's those other fake sugars called? Um, NutraSweet. Uh, what's the pink one called? Oh, God. Oh, God. What's, what's something, it's like, it, you know what they are because you're eating them and you shouldn't be eating them. <laughs> But 100% just pure sugar is better than any other chemical that you may want to go out and use and find. Whatever's natural, yeah, it, the sugar may be a little bit higher in calories. And if you're diabetic, I do not recommend using the sugar. But uh, if you can find the agave, uh, stevia is very good, coconut nectar, those are great options for you. Again, happy holidays. Bye, you guys. <laughs> and we hope you have a great night. Goodbye.